Hey everybody, it's Shape and Pet Buzz. Welcome to today. I have a quick preview for Camtasia Studio 8. It has been released today and has loads of new features. Um, the full review will be out in 10 to 15 days with my with like my honest opinion and everything and how it has completely changed. But it's just a quick preview for you guys. So the icons have changed and all that, as you can see. The clip bin especially has changed and I like the new change. The logo also has changed and the track has changed like there's a new track system and all that there's also a new category over here called visual properties call outs there are better call outs on the previews of the call outs is much better zoom and pan works and it's, the ui is a bit different the audio the audio tab the ui is a bit different the transitions um, the ui is a bit different for sure i think there might be a few new transitions but i'm not completely sure but they have improved some transitions once i think um, I'm back. Anyways, um, some of the transitions look transitions transitions look much better and much cleaner. Another big difference is the file size is reduced by 75 percent. So a file that was 70 100 MB would become 25 MB. That's what they say, and the, they say the recording will be much much smoother. Um, the cursor effects are seem different. The UI is different. I have tried it. The visual properties. Um, it can change the look of the video and just make it the color, change it a bit saturated and stuff like that. Um, in more, we have voice narration. It's still same. And we have record camera, general setup. We have captions. And we have quizzing. That's like the tabs. And let's look at the menus. They're all same. Except for the, the color. The canvas is also the same. As you can see. And when you first launch Computer Studio, the splash screen is the same. I mean, no, different. The splash is different. As you can see, it looks very nice and smooth and sleek. And the pop up window, one second, guys. Um, the pop up window is also very nice. As you can see, it looks very simple. And there's free training, research project, community, recorded stream, and import media. You have the option to not show the di dialogue at the startup. Well, that's pretty much my preview. Um, but I'm going to produce and share. Well, let's see. File I'm going to one of my projects. Old project. My desktop coral review. So I'll convert it. So. Okay, as you can see, it's upgraded and... Um, if we go to produce and share, it's like much different. MP4 only, MP4 up to 720p, and MP4 vid video player. It's all much different. It's much simpler now. And there's like no option for iPad, iPod, and stuff like that. Um, and you can also share it to screencast.com. I'm gonna cancel that because I just showing you for that. And I'm gonna show you the visual properties now. So if I click on the video, so I can scale it. Never mind. Um, there isn't any saturation and stuff like that. But um, you can also add animation and stuff like that. And all that stuff. You can drop shadows and stuff like that. Um, it's out of border. Um, yeah. Cursor, let's see if we go on this coral. It still has the same effects. If you go into um callouts, let's test up some callouts. The default color is much different now, but you can change it back to the default colors and remove the gradient see. And let's look at some of the other callouts. This is pixelate. I'm not sure if this was there in the other ones. We also have um, spotlight and blur. We also have uh, clear keystrokes, red outline keystrokes, gray keystrokes, and traditional tr keystrokes. Number seven only at traditional. Uh, so control T and I'll type or oh, select keystroke. Also, there's shapes like these.
You see, um, you can move, mess around with it. Let's look at some of the intros and stuff. Let's set the music. Love those, it's gonna be terrible for you guys. But you can select, I'm pretty sure you can still download them. I think you can get more media buttons, but I'm not gonna show you that right now. Now it's just like animation doesn't include music. You have to choose your own music from the music list, which is not really a problem because it comes with so much music. They also have callouts meant specifically for that and stuff. As you can see, it looks pretty sick, right? Um, well, this was my quick preview of Temptation Studio. Sorry, guys, but my review will come in a couple days. See you guys in my next video.